welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that little flying video. This is the guide that I was flying in those videos. A little sort of park ripper, toothpick, twig build, you might want to call it. Great fun and really easy to build and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a build series of videos showing the tools that you need, the parts that you need and how all those parts go together. A very simple straightforward series of videos that hopefully at the end you can build this or something very similar to it. But we'll get to that at the end and as we have a look and review this build together because that's what we're going to do. Because we're going to see that this build is a process. It's not hard and fast. When we started out, there's some parts that I wanted to use in this that I haven't. Issues that have come up through the process of it that we'll discuss later. It's come together nicely and it flies very nicely. But we want to show that, that building a quad is not just a hard and fast thing, but in fact a process where you need to, to think about what you're doing and make necessary adjustments. And that comes with experience. And the more you look at build videos, the more you look at how quads are constructed, the more you learn that process and gain that experience. And as you sit down to build yourself, maybe you're going to make some mistakes. It's fair enough. But you'll learn from those mistakes and learn from, from all the information you're getting. So so we're going to do. We're going to build this little quad together. Um, why a little quad like this? Well, it's, it's easy to fly. You can fly it in places that you wouldn't necessarily fly a big five inch quad. It's not going to make much noise. It's not going to annoy people. You can fly it through some tight gaps in smaller areas. Perhaps you've got a smaller back garden where you could fly this. Also, it's cheaper. All the parts that go into this are significantly cheaper in some cases than parts you might use in a 5 inch. And also the batteries, these little LiPos, are significantly cheaper. I can get four LiPos like this for around about the same price as buying a big 4S LiPo at 1500 milliamp from a 5 inch. So you can get four batteries or one battery. You can see how much cheaper, how much more expensive flying this little guy around the park is than perhaps building a big 5 inch, which I would recommend that you do because flying the 5 inch they are really the gold standard of flying you can carry the GoPro the performance that you get this is why most people fly those big 5 inch quads is because of the experience that you get it's, it's really the standard that other quad sizes through improvements are trying to get to but 5 inch is just it just seems to be the sweet spot for quads but something like this you can get a lot of fun a lot of experience from flying it as I say a lot of fun out of flying it so uh, I'd recommend if you're thinking of starting but not quite sure and not quite sure where you can fly um, then building something like this and I would recommend that you build a quad and not just buy a, a ready to fly model but recommend you build a quad um, building something like this will, will get you started on a journey of, of into FPV and, and flying and, and having enjoyment in this great hobby so we're going to show how this is built we're going to go through the process the tools um, the equipment that we're going to use and the parts that we're going to use. Unfortunately, I can't show at the end how to set this up in beta flight, mostly because I haven't quite worked out how I can do that in an interesting way with my computer. But to be honest, once a quad's plugged into beta flight, they all look the same. The settings you set up in a similar way, um, and all the, the bits and pieces in, in beta flight you set up in, in pretty much the same way as you would a, a two inch, as you would a five inch, or a seven inch, or a whoop, or whatever and 1S, 6S, they all set up in the same way. So I seriously recommend you check out a video that's by Joshua Bardwell and he shows you exactly how you can set up a quad, which is essentially any quad in beta flight. So we won't be covering that, but we're covering all the other points. Um, though I think I'll edit out all the bits about me soldering, not the most interesting um, viewing that you might see. So we'll edit out those bits, but we'll just show you the main things that we're doing and, and the process as we work through that process. So without further ado, let's have a look at the tools and equipment that you will need to build this little guy here. 